back to Life in Fork. I know it's been a while, but today I'm going to show you how to make some charred buffalo cauliflower. So stay tuned. All right, so lately I've been playing with charred cauliflower. Uh, there's some videos you can go back and see that I did a couple different versions. But right now, one of the biggest, hottest flavors is buffalo. So I'm going to show you how I make my buffalo charred cauliflower. It's pretty simple. It should be a pretty quick video. So the first thing we have here is a cauliflower head. Uh, I'm going to show you how to break it down. I'm sure in most videos by now you've already seen how I break it down, but if you don't, if you didn't, I'll show you again. So all we're going to do is take our knife, split it down the middle. Now here, you're going to see the stem. So all you're going to do with your knife is follow down the stem. Pull the stem apart. Now you just take your cauliflower by your hand and pull out nice pieces and put it in your bowl. I like to use this way instead of using the knife because it gives you nicer, bigger pieces and they're really rustic looking. So they're not all gonna be uniform, but you don't want it to be uniform. You want this to have a little bit of different size. Again, with the second piece, just take it down. Same thing, just peel it apart, take your time. Now we're just going to take a little bit of vegetable oil, about two pinches of kosher salt, just toss it around a little bit, you can flip it if you can, use a bigger bowl next time. Now I'm going to take a baking sheet, I'm going to put this right on top. My oven's already been preset at 350, it's going to go in for about 30 minutes to get a nice little brown. So 350 at 30 minutes. back it's been 30 minutes the cauliflower is already cooked all the way through maybe not all the way through but medium rare it was 30 minutes that's all you need now we're gonna grab a cauliflower put in our bowl use some tongs that way you don't burn your hand because it is still hot but you want it hot because it's gonna help absorb the sauce we're gonna still use the same pan so we don't get it all dirty I know how everyone hates clean dishes so we're gonna make it very simple now we're going to take some buffalo sauce. What I have here is Sweet Baby Ray's Creamy Buffalo Sauce. You can use any type of buffalo sauce that you like. I'm going to add about two ounces. I'm going to toss it. It's almost if like you're making like hot wings. Same, same concept. And I'm going to put it here. This is a little trick that we use in kitchens all the time, spatulas. This is to get all the sauce out of the pan. That way you don't lose it. It's better to go on the food than down the drain. All right, now that we're ready, like we're gonna have our oven set to broil high. We're gonna go in for three minutes. That's all you really need. So we're gonna go three minutes high broil. Alright, so it's been three minutes, now we're going to pull it out. Always be careful when you're pulling something out the oven, that's why I use a towel and some tongs. Now we're going to move our cauliflower over to our serving bowl. And you can see it gets a little bit of char, but not burnt. So you have to be careful with that. Most people say charred and they think it's burnt. No, char is just you get a little bit of the smoky taste with still a nice product, not burnt. So make sure you understand there's charred and there's burnt. We want char, not burnt. So there you go. This is the Buffalo Charred Cauliflower. Hope you guys liked it. As always, stay tuned to future episodes. I promise to start Getting more better at uploading new content. Just been busy, new job, new stuff going on. I'll fill you guys in on, on that stuff as we go on. But uh, stay tuned next week. I hope there's a new video. Love you guys. Till next time. Hit subscribe. Bye.